Hello. So we are live. Welcome to the fifth edition of the Airbike Community Call. Uh, we've been blessed by an awesome community with all kinds of really, really great talks that we've that we've had at these community calls, and it's only getting better. Uh, today we're going to keep it pretty simple. The Airbike team has been uh, heads down uh, on making Airbike Cloud a reality, so a lot of the uh, so kind of the normal like the normal community update, maybe the normal engineering updates that I that I, that that we'd normally give you are are going to be uh, we're going to kind of like push that to to the next one. Um, we will, however, because we do love Marcos and we we like seeing his face. I, I did invite him to give a quick uh, a quick user success update uh, just just for everyone. So uh, I'm just going to hand it over to Marcos really quick before I, uh, I introduce our, our wonderful guest. So. Okay, uh, I think our next uh, improvement on the user success is helping the community uh, improving the, the process of contributing to Airbyte. So if you want to become a contributor, please send a message because we, we see that we need to improve a lot on that part. Uh, and any feedback from connectors and improvements on that perspective, please uh, go into the Slack channel and send a message for us so we can discuss to improve. And I think for the user success is what we have for now. Let me see. Yep, you can go, Abby. Cool, awesome. Uh, so uh, it's nice to see everyone in the chat. This is really exciting. Lots of lots of new faces, some old faces. Uh, uh, we got Jared in the chat saying that that they're looking to contribute to new connectors in the near future. Awesome to hear it. Really love really really love seeing the community here out out here today. And the other thing that we love is Harshit from Velocity India. So Harshit has been a bit of a uh, a bit of an uh, interesting case in um in in kind of like the Airbyte uh, back uh, back end team because uh, we have like we we have a notification that happens like uh, when, when like people like I guess like uh, cre create create connectors and and we see we see Harshit creating like thousands of connectors and it, and it's and it's really and it's really crazy. So uh, we we were always interested. I'm like, how does how is he doing it? How is he managing like all, all of these uh, these Airbyte uh, connections? And um, I think we're gonna re get uh, kind of a sneak peek into how how that that works today. So uh, Harshit, um, please, without further ado, uh, uh, take it away. Yeah, thanks, Avi. Thanks for that uh, great intro. Um, I mean, it's it's. As I said, I think we were just discussing before that what's the biggest joke. Uh, I think data itself is a big joke. Um, that's that's how it has been for us. Um, I mean, a lot of things, right? Um, when it's data, there's a lot of things to manage and things to do. Um, not being late, I'll just jump in and just share a couple of things on what we do uh, or how actually Airbyte helps us a lot. Um, we are basically team at Velocity. Um, what we do is more around fintech. We are a fintech company and we work majorly with finance data. Uh, that's what our, um, I mean, in the background, that's what we do. Um, and it's again, actually, it's it's my pleasure to be here and it's been great. Uh, I think it's a reason of community call that we also got to meet and talk to a lot of people at Airbyte. And though, even though we do, but that's now it's had been kind of a video call and et cetera. Um, about me, uh, I, as I said, work at Velocity, um, again, do a lot of things around data and being a front end. Uh, that's, that's where I come from. Uh, front end engineering is what my background is. Uh, what I love is building cool products. That's that's what I always look for. Um, you know, solving cool problems, building cool products. You know, uh, and sharing knowledge. I do teach a lot in a uh, couple of platforms. So that's that's how I spend most of my tech time in front of system. And when I'm away from any of my keyboard system, I think I travel a lot. A lot. Um, I just came back from one of the beauteous beauty places in India, Leh Ladakh, uh, just last week. So that's that's what I do. 
Okay, um, enough of show off of what I do. So let's just get into what uh, actually Velocity does. A quick intro on what products we do. Uh, we are uh, basically having three products. Revenue-based financing is our core. Uh, that's where uh, most of our products, you know, again turn back into. Um, and to explain what revenue-based financing is in short, it's basically we give um, startups financing as in, you know, kind of loan and amount, uh, and we collect it back through their revenue. So in short, that's what we do. Uh, as the name is quite fancy, but, you know, a lot of things happen in the background. Um, so one key thing is the how do we decide uh, when, when we give loan is where the data comes in, where we pull data of that company from various places, um, various resources like, example, Shopify. Uh, how do they sell in Shopify? How do they sell in Amazon? How do they spend their ads? Uh, how do they spend in ads like Facebook ads, Google ads, Amazon ads? So bunch of sources. We, uh, again, as air by terms are, so coming back to air by terms, sources, there are immense of sources which we use and also <clears throat> the... We also use custom sources and whatnot uh, where that comes in. And the second product is Insights. That's that's also one other uh, product which we are working on, which is in private beta, which majorly our whole focus goes in. Uh, so what we are trying to do here is kind of provide a fully fledged dashboard to a D2C founder, um, uh, you know, to understand how much revenue is flowing into, how much ad spend he has, and then which actual product is working on, um, what kind of ads are working, what kind of uh, ads he has to run, probably suggestions on it. So that's that's something, again, is a complete leverage on what data happens. I, I'll just probably dig more deep into insights as we go. Uh, so I'll just leave that uh, as a suspense and what actually happens internally. Uh, and then the cards is, again, uh, we give credit cards to corporate companies and they can use the credit card. So whatever product may be, I think end of the day, there is a complete bed in the background, if you ask me, which talks to the data and understands what how the company is. Uh, end of the day, we are just kind of getting a financial status of the company. That's our goal. And based on that, we actually decide what kind of product, you know, we're going to give and what kind of features we want to give to the customer. So that's in short on what we do. Um, okay, majorly we'll be talking about insights because that's where, um, you know, tons and tons of data flows in and that's where we actually, um, do face problems, do solve problems and a lot of things we do there. Um, we are about 30 plus, we are though running in a private beta, we are, uh, counting our customers every day. We are talking to our old customers, new customers, and then, uh, we are trying to build a great product there. Um, our aim is to have hundred customers by end of the month. Um, so you want to scale it huge. Um, again, hoping Airbyte helps us a lot there as in, you know, they, they are already helping and supporting us a lot. So they, they do play a key role here. Um, okay. Small, uh, one minute intro and before meeting Airbyte, we did actually check through a bunch of, uh, products. Um, don't want to name them hashtag star, a lot of products. Um, and, and be, I think Air Airbyte has been a more of a trial and error when we started, but uh, I think the moment we started it has become very close to our heart. Uh, it was quite simple to start. Um, it was as simple as in every other hashtag star we went through their docs, you know, understand how do we actually set it up. But Airbyte, I think it was, um, you know, technically Docker Compose up and it was, it, it was running. I mean, there, there was no blocker, everything was quite running. and. Um, no problem. So that that's that's I think when um, we we had this expression like yeah wow what is happening here and everything was quite um, quite fast and nothing was broken. Uh, how do we leverage data? I think this is this is in short on what we do. Um, so we have bunch of sources. Um, I have given some examples: Shopify, Facebook, Amazon, Google. Um, all these things flow through our, you know, black box of velocity. That's where we have a couple of things and a couple of systems and architecture set up. And end of the day, what again user looks at is their repos, their insights, their what is happening and etc. So we'll dig deep into the black box. Uh, I think Airbyte is somewhere hiding inside the black box. Um, so that, that's where it's hiding. Um, just to, I think most of our 
uh, something which Airbit also uses. So the last logo is BigQuery. That's uh, where all our data lies in. Um, the first logo is, of course, the famous Airbyte. Uh, that's what we use. Uh, so the black box is, to be uh, explaining it more deep, I think I'll just stick on this slide for some time. Um, so how, how the data flows in is we actually ask our, uh, you know, the customer to connect these sources, which is again, we use an OAuth flow. Um, we ask the customer to, con in our platform, then he connects the OAuth flow and then we get the tokens and that's where the, the process starts. Once we get it and then the Airbyte basically picks in these, um, it has a very beautiful API, which we use to create connections. Uh, so we don't we don't do any manual thing. Everything is quite automated. Once some once we get a token, we hit Airbyte. Airbyte creates a connection. Um, we we do use some um, you know some wanted features. I think it also acts as a heads up for Airbyte, like more wanted features. Um, one is again the scheduler is something which we have written on our own um, for the distribution of the connections, but. Um, so once the connection is created, we start the sync um, and the data basically starts fetching and then it pulls to BigQuery. We run these syncs every day for all of our customers to understand how, you know, get the insights every day. So I'll just go into the numbers in the next slides on at what scale we are running. But to be the flow, I think this is what happens, creating a connection uh, in Airbyte and then we pull the data. And we use dbt to transform the data custom um, again airbyte has provided pretty recent they have launched a new feature of using custom dbt so um, heads up there we use that and we got transform the data into a format which we want and i think the final um you know the big source of data lies in our BigQuery. like most of our uh, i think everything of our thing lies in BigQuery of all the data so this is the black box. I think at end of the day, the reports and everything is something our front end handles, but the velocity black box is mainly consisting of these three things where, uh, of course, our business logic, but I think these are the applications we use here. Um, yeah, coming back to numbers, I think um, we have been, I think we have started using uh, this around April, um, went into production end of May or June. Uh, but our major sources are uh, Amazon, uh, Facebook ads, uh, sorry, Facebook ads, Google ads, Shopify, WooCommerce, Amazon, and S3. Um, S3 is again, most of our data, which is not sorted out as in, there are no APIs. We dump our data to S3 uh, and we use S3 connector to pull that data from S3 and back to our uh, Google BigQuery, which becomes standard. And then we can start using for our reports and et cetera. So these are our key sources uh, we are working every day to uh, you know give support for more sources one such example is we are working on amazon ads again heads up to web so there is a pr which is going to come from our team um, so we, we are working on uh, amazon ads where uh, that that's going to be our next uh, source and then uh, we have a couple of other sources which are also working on in the background as flipkart and mintra uh, we use s3 for it but i think Pretty soon we should have something uh, there also as we initiate talks. Um, next is connector connections. Uh, we have about 150 plus customers and uh, this is this is again active customers. So for every active customer, we pull um, four connections on an average uh, as we have taken. So it's, it's almost 600 connections, unique connections we have and every connection runs a sync every day. So uh, in the time between morning 12 to afternoon 12, we run all our syncs, uh, the daily syncs which happen. Uh, coming back to the data, this is the key thing, as in we, we, we really didn't imagine it's going that huge. Um, it, it just went to the peaks just as I think we were sleeping the night we created it in the morning, it was almost like 10 times of it. Um, so we, we have at least 20 GB of data flowing in every day. Uh, we have almost processed 280 GB um, in the last two months. Uh, that's that's where we are uh, going. Um, and I think the processing is going to increase. As, as we speak, it should be adding um, probably at least more 10 GB or 12 GB. So that, that's the uh, 
again, that's the pace we are running and that, that's, that's the pace which Airbed is supporting. Uh, coming back to our growth, we have about six connections coming daily. Uh, so we are looking at having thousand connections, uh, most probably by, I mean, running daily sync connections by end of uh, this year, which would lead up to one TB of data, which we process. So that's the massive hit, which we are uh, trying to hit. And uh, this is again, according to our current plans, but, you know, launching a couple of other sources, we should be um, hitting these probably in a month or two. So these are the numbers which um, we are looking at. Um, I think in terms of data and all, we are quite um, huge and it's, it's, it's at scale, I think, very big help which Hairbed has given for us. I just tried putting a couple of words together um, and try to see, these are something which I've collated from our charts um, and then from what we talk. So this is how how much we love it right so in our charts the most of the words if you actually look at it um data is obviously huge that's why i said it's a very big joke because there is no point of having data when there are nothing other than around it um you have airbyte you can see it's quite big uh open source cdk slack join ours so that's that's the amount of love we put in airbyte right now uh most of our time goes to airbyte and uh that, that's that's both good um, and we are dependent, so probably a bit bad. <laughs> uh, again, coming back to the points, it's very easy to set up. We we really love that. Um, it's it's quite quite simple. I think the docs or beat anything. We always hired a single to probably 10, 12 commands to set everything up in production and get it done. We love the common architecture um, for the multiple sources. Like you don't you don't. Okay, just short story back on what we did. We actually tried write, writing lambdas, if uh, people were aware of it. We wrote Amazon lambdas for individual sources. That's a massive difference from, as in you have to literally understand every source. Every source has a different way of doing it. Uh, it becomes very cluttered for any company to manage so many things. But uh, I think having a common architecture on how the data is injected and how the data is output and how we capture it, uh, the architecture is something which we really loved. And oh God, uh, CDK is something really amazing. Um, you, you get a single source in probably, if I'm not wrong, 15 to 20 seconds. It's hardly you just run a generator and you choose single source and you are done. Um, and, and it runs, you just build it and it runs. And we have seen it literally. So I uh, the reason I put in bold is something which is very close to my heart. I, I really like CDK. So personal opinion, but still, um, it, it's really wonderful. Um, and again, um, I really wanted to put custom DBT also, probably I missed it in this, but it, it's also very wonderful feature where we had an option to um, uh, customize our data uh, and it, it runs like a charm. It's just, you know, put in the API, you write, you, you give your own GitHub and you just add it and it runs. I mean, there is, I think everything just runs. Um, there is no, nothing which we can say doesn't, I mean, even if it doesn't, I think you should really look at the troubleshooting. It's, it's quite fast in how they respond. So, uh, that's one of the reason why we love support. Probably I should have written it. Um, but yeah, so one more thing, sorry. Um, there is one more thing which we love is community. I think I missed you guys, but yeah, it's not just air, but it's just everyone who supports it and everyone is very, very, uh, happy to help. Um, I mean, there is immense. Um, it's 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 wonderful that you have guys have built such a big community and pretty fast. This is just a slide which probably I felt adding it here might get more focus from Airbyte. So uh, as in just push things up up so that they can build it fast. A couple of things are already done. I think K H is something. Though I come from bottom, I think will come from top then. Um, it's not problem as such, but I think these are a couple of things which we faced at scale. Uh, probably I can also keep it as challenges and wish list. Uh, so managing connections at scale has been a bit difficult for us. Um, personally, when I've started facing so many connections, uh, I literally had to um, wait for the airbyte to load. Um, and it, it's, it has to load thousands of connections and we'll have to work through it. Uh, 
add a CLI for it. So which we'll come through it later on this. This is this is the core reason why I started it. So I just wanted to put it in point one. Um, and then control over sync scheduling, I think it's just 10 minutes back. Someone has put a message in the GitHub issue that we need this. Uh, we really need this. I mean, please do um, support this as soon as possible. Um, more control over sync logs is something which also which we wanted as in what data to pull uh, exactly from the API and how can we control it. Um, probably through the UI is something which we are very happy to have. Um, again, heads up, I think everyone knows it, um, that these are there, but yeah. Um, more control over job syncs. Uh, I think we have, uh, um, two problems here. One is we do get an error message on Slack when something goes off, um, great that we have built it. Uh, but in terms of what is the error and more details on what actually happened for the job is something which is a bit more helpful uh, so that we can push this to some you know error management tool or something of that sort so that it can help us understand where uh, the errors are happening quite frequent or what is it happening uh, and then success uh, i mean a webhook for when the job is success uh, saying that the job has been successfully done um, it helps us initiating other you know what are the other processes which we want to do uh, probably a serialized process or sequential process after these are done. Um, I think the next point is everyone wants it. Uh, there is just no me or you, um, you know, authentication and SSL, something which we are quite excited. Looks like you're launching it in cloud. Um, I think KH is something which we are working on. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's launched. We did face a couple of issues. Probably we are focusing on having it um, production ready as soon as possible. And we desperately wanted to have a horizontal scaling right now. We just increase our machine sizes, which is quite hectic. Um, yeah, this is something which also, uh, quite interesting is monitoring, uh, probably a good dashboard on the front screen, which says how many things did we run today? How many have failed and how many are successful or, um, or I mean, a more detailed info on what's actually happening on an outer layer of the air bite. Um, that's something which we actually do it manually right now. Check the jobs, how many have run, how many have failed. But you know, uh, it's just wish list. I mean, I can write anything I want. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, this is last. Um, don't want to bore you much, but something which I am. Um, more excited about, or this is where I spend more time on. Um, we have faced a couple of issues. I have said um, managing connections at scale, um, searching for we have namings for each connection, search for individual connection. Everything takes a lot of time. Uh, getting logs to a text format or finding which logs are there, etc. There are a bunch of features. I have not added a couple of things which we are working on as exporting the whole configuration and both importing and validating the whole configuration while you're importing it. Um, these are two new features we have added. Um, it's, it's open source. I think, uh, feel free to contribute. It's just me working on it. Um, I just pulled one of my friend pretty recent. So that guy is also in, uh, but something which really helps us a lot, um, in terms of both, uh, ease of usage and you get everything in your CLI. Let me, I, I can just give you a small um, overview on what it does. Um, hey, Harsh, if, I, if, I, if I could just jump in really quickly, uh, just just for anyone that, that hasn't, that hasn't that didn't see the, the post in the Slack a while ago, Harshith shared that uh, he had basically created a Aerobyte CLI and he and he's now going to be uh, uh, demonstrating that. So yeah, you can go ahead and share that. Yeah. It's really not um, straightforward to show all the features. Might take some time, but I'll just go through some you know, quick, which I seriously find um, good. Um, I think one is already done. I was just testing it. Uh, it's just Airbyte get sources. It just says um, how many total sources are there and all the sources. And I can also probably take just one source and fetch it. 
it just gives you a JSON and you have formatting, which is either you want it in table or JSON, feel free to add whatever you want. And then there is search, which I use very, uh, like very often, quite often. So let's just take brand scale. Uh, by the way, these are all the companies we company. So it just searches for all the brand scale if you actually see, and it throws all your um, sources which have brand scale as their name. And similar goes with sources, uh, sorry, similar goes with connections. I can also uh, search again. Uh, connections is a bit slow because um, we had to do it through web backend API because we wanted both source and things, but it does a job. Uh, it does its job, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Her um, Harshith might be downplaying this a bit, but this is really cool. This is <laughs> this is really awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is really awesome that you that you created this, Harshith. Yeah, it, it has a bunch of features. I think it's there in GitHub. So guys, feel free to try use it. Um, please do find bugs. Really helps to um, solve a lot. You have, uh, there is a help. Um, we try, at least I tried keeping it as simple as possible. So you can have a completion directly in ZSH just to completion. It gives airbed completion and all. You can get um, one other good example is get your connection ID and do it by get jobs for that connection ID and it gives you the job ID and then just do it by logs of 4332. Looks like it doesn't have any logs. Nice. Um, you have, you can use export feature also. It's just um, give your folder and it exports all the sources, connections and destinations. And then there is import, uh, which you can also use. Uh, so yeah, I think bunch of features there. Um, the, we are working towards a lot of, lot of new features also. Um, probably they should be out by this month end where you can actually start a complete air byte using your CLI and manage your connections using your YAMLs and JSONs. So that's a heads up there. Yeah. Uh, awesome, Harshith. Well, uh, I believe some people have some questions for you. So uh, I oh, think yeah? if we can, um, and if and if you have any questions for Harshith, please, uh, there's a questions tab in the top right. Go ahead and, and I know a few of you have, have done this, very proactive. Um, I will uh, go ahead and, and some read some questions off for you. Um, can you uh, share some ideas on, on basically the deployment architecture for that the you have at Velocity? Like how many, what type of nodes are you running? Um, uh, like how many of them are you running? Like how are you uh, uh, maintaining high availability uh, for, for Airby right now? Uh, we earlier used to run T2 Medium. Um, that's, that's an EC2 container, uh, but it didn't scale. Uh, we faced a lot of issues there, kind of memory constraints. Uh, very frequent, we used to see this memory constraint and then uh, we had to either increase memory, um, we used to see RAM constraints and also later we moved to T3 large. That's where uh, we are right now. And that's, uh, I mean, scaling into thousands, we don't see any problems as of right now, but we do closely watch at it. Uh, the maximum it happens is probably 60% of RAM, but would suggest going for T3, T3 medium if um, you're doing at scale. I think that's, uh, I mean, the suggestions is until we launch K8, uh, would prefer going for K8 rather than um, you know, any EC2 containers. Wait, so, yeah. so that's T3 large or T3 medium? Yeah, that you're running? T3 large is okay. uh, what we have. Uh, cool, so um, I, I think uh, Bogdan's question has been answered about scheduling the connection. Oh, actually, that maybe hasn't been. I, I remember that you actually mentioned that you manage uh, the scheduling internally. Um, yeah, we do. Can, yeah, can you actually like dive into that? Is that can you like kind of explain that a little more? So, I think for scheduling, we had uh, two major problems. Uh, one is something which is a constraint for velocity. Uh, we wanted most of our data to be done before our ops team gets in and looks at the data. Uh, so we didn't want ops team always coming back to tech team and saying, uh, we, we need this data. We need that data. Um, so we wanted to schedule everything before 12 o'clock coming back to how do we do it is either we manually trigger all the things 
in the morning so that every next time it happens at that time or we get a feature of cron where we can set a specific time and that's when it runs since um airbyte at least right now doesn't support it so we went ahead and uh we went ahead and build a scheduler for that one and the second reason is uh, we face throttling issues a lot when every con- i mean we have a surge or a, a more of a surge which happens in the afternoon where found- founders connect a lot of connections so we ended up pulling most of our things happening in the afternoons which um brought us an issue of throttling for most of our connections uh, like facebook has a very good throttling and then uh, amazon has a shit load of throttling uh, so we faced all these issues then we had to distribute it evenly across the time so we started distributing it from morning 12 to afternoon 12 um so that's that's how that's the reason why we went for custom scheduler but hoping airbyte comes with that you know cron string i think that that, that should solve uh, both of the issues yeah all right awesome thank you so much harshit so uh if you don't mind can uh, i think we're going to move uh, any further questions into the uh, into the public slack channel and uh harshit i'm mm-hmm. sure you'll be able to a- answer questions there so i'll i'll create i'll create a thread for that and now uh, kishore i uh, and um swayam had 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 some had some questions i believe aiden's question was was answered with with some of the uh with with some of the things that swayam asked but um please feel free to comment on the thread and we'll be able to answer all of your questions there thank you so much harshit for joining us uh thank you so much yeah. for contributing the the uh, airbyte cli um it's it's pleasure, gonna... <laughs> pleasure is mine <laughs> yeah and thank you for for your kind words about our community and uh, about about our project. Uh so everyone uh if you want to see content like this uh, pl- uh come to the community calls um next we're, we're going to have uh constantly more content it's gonna, we're going to be ramping up on this and we're going to be uh basically trying to deliver as much value as possible with hopefully people as 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 uh, <laughs> at least as we'll try to get people as good as Harshit but that'll be that'll be difficult you're you're quite the you're quite the gem. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, for for everyone who joined us, I know we had a lot of uh, a lot of activity in the in the chat, and uh, it's it's really awesome to see everyone out here. And uh, all right, uh, thank you so much.